get something moving with Carlton Palmer. Sprays it out to the right where he picks up Roland Nielsen in a bit of space. Just while waiting. Good run by Nielsen. Nielsen takes a shot, deflection, and Lukic had it covered initially until it got that wicked deflection. And that's reason to be cheerful. Part one, but a one, back for nil. It's a bad. Richard Hines with a cross in. Elliot trying to get the header. It's out to Ashby. It's it back into Junior Lewis. Right comes Ashby again at the curler from Ashby. Oh, what a goal from Ian Ashby! If we thought the goal at South End was a classic, then that is even better. And that's a late content of the goal of the season. An absolute cracker from the city captain. He loves going down to the southwest and popping them in from distance and you won't see a better finish. Joseph's underneath this one, nods it forward. Elliot does well, and then goes to the ambit to shot. Elliot! Oh! An incredible goal! Absolutely incredible goal! Stuart Elliot makes it 2 0. He swung his left boot at it. The keeper despairingly trying to get back at it. And it goes in off the crossbar. The Brentford bench are complaining about something. Near side as we look. Chris Waddle, is he going to have a crack? Oh, he does, and he scores! Anything Paul Gascoigne can do, Chris Waddle can do. Alan Kelly beaten before he touched the ball. It's happened again in a Wembley semi final. Clean strike, turning away from the goalkeeper. So don't take it yourself. Good header there from Siggy Johnson. Oh, and what a goal! What a goal from Hurst! Just so don't take it yourself. Good header there from Siggy Johnson. Oh, and what a goal! What a goal from Hurst! Well, Siggy Johnson that passed it to him, he unleashed a shot. Well, I don't know, that was a thunderbird. Afterwards, Bruni has two white shirts around him, he's picked out Janino. Janino with a strike, oh, what a goal! What a goal, it's Middlesbrough who are two on ahead and it's the Brazilian with a fantastic strike that's done it and it's sent the away fans into raptures and Janino has done it again. That's why Steve McLaren brought him back for a third spell. What a goal! Well, we've saw some wonderful strikes this season, but I tell you what, uh, nothing beats that. That is an absolute peach. Just look at it. Paul Robertson never even sniffed it. He just catches it so sweet, and then it's in off the far post. And I tell you what, no. And he through against Jones, the Welshman. It was a spectacular finale, thanks to Liam Miller. He shot a brilliant way to earn a share of the points. So these two North East rivals say locked in the table on eight point six.
chin on the gate. Judge. Great strike. And Alan Judge levels things up once more. Five minutes before half time. It's 2-2. Two -two. Wickham have been pegged back here for a second time. Great strike from Judge. Reddington switches it to Hart on the right. That's a good effort. Oh, what a tremendous goal by John Hart. His first ever in English football and one he'll remember for the rest of his days. 13 minutes to half time and one of the goals of the season has given Sheffield Wednesday the lead. The American World Cup player came forward and just decided to have a crack. What a crack it was! To beat Peter Schultz from that range, it's got to be some shot. It was! Snodgrass will retrieve it. He finds the army and he'll shoot! Westwood got a hand to it, but it wasn't enough. The first critical blow to Sheffield Wednesday. And the Tigers have made that pressure count in the last couple of minutes. Sheffield Wednesday couldn't clear their lines. That's what created the opportunity. Snodgrass, the little roll inside, and then Diami, he knew exactly where he wanted to put that ball. That's a... In it goes high, but not particularly a good one. He's for right. Dunek, Macaroni in space, Macaroni inside the pen here, Macaroni in the angle, hits the shot, goal! Massimo Macaroni strikes it, and for a possibly, possibly have some hope yet. It's for a one, it's Steyer two, but the man who scored it last minute against Basel has scored to lift the
Everton for this replay. A visit from Millwall is the prize for the winners. Hull in their change kit tonight of all white. And this is Michael Owen, halted by Zayata. And Paul McShane clears the danger. Michael Owen bursting through with little more than 10 seconds on the clock. And it took a combination of Hull's two centre-backs to halt him.